Making money from Fortnite is not easy. And that's why today I'm going to be showing you the easiest methods and quite literally every method. Now, there are some that are probably illegal. Not in this video, but out there. Um, I won't be covering them. But I'll cover the basics and just ethical ways you can make money on this game. Now, this isn't to say you could quit your job in like a week's time or quit school and drop out. But you could make some good income, which could, you know, snowball. And maybe in the future, you can do that. Wait, don't be alarmed. I'm jumping in to give a shout out from my sponsor, Trust Eyes. The number one rated crypto casino and sports book on Trustpilot that offers a wide range of games like Dice, Crash, Sweet Bonanza, and the classics Blackjack, Roulette, and more. You can bet on sports and even esports titles such as Valorant, Call of Duty, and League of Legends tournaments if your region allows it. Trustize provides a faucet that allows you to claim free currency every six hours as well as other bonuses to reward you for playing. But please remember, gambling is a risk. Do not gamble with money you can't afford to lose and understand that success is not guaranteed. So starting with the first way, and I think it's the most obvious, and I wouldn't say it was the easiest, but the most common would be to compete in tournaments. Now, this has got slightly easier recently because Fortnite released, I think it's cash cups, weekly cash cups, where you can earn $100 for placing and qualifying. I don't know the exact details of this, but I've seen a lot of people that previously never made earnings in Fortnite finally get their first $100. And this is something you can do weekly. If you know, if you place every week and you're hard practicing, you can get $500 a week, which is, you know, for a 16-year-old or anyone, you know, younger than that, even an 18 year old, that's great. You know, it's an extra source of income. Um, and if it's not something you're solely relying on, it's very, very good. You know, it's something you can definitely save that invest. This is, I'm not going to give any investment advice, but it's something. So remember that now granted that isn't going to be for everyone. Not all you guys are going to be able to compete and make money. Cause again, it's not easy. Everyone is just so good at the game now. So in this case, you could turn to content creation and I'm not talking, you know, being monetized on YouTube or monetized on TikTok or monetized anywhere. Cause it's going to to take a lot of time to do that and you have to like, it's really strict you know you have to have a lot of views but if you can get at least a thousand followers on one social media platform you can apply for an epic game support a creator code which i'm sure you're all aware of and basically start earning money from your little code even if you just get your friends to use it even if you use it yourself you'll make some money back on the v bucks that you spend or the you know the money that you put into the game it isn't a lot trust me it isn't a lot and you have to really really promote that thing but again it's something you will make some money and it could even just be enough, you know, to convince your parents that, you know, you can game and there is something in gaming because you can really make this a job. It, whether it's, you know, competitive or content creation, especially if, you know, if you've got a thousand followers, you can for sure, you know, start monetizing on other platforms as well. It may take a bit longer because a thousand isn't usually the threshold for like actual platform monetization, but you can make it work. And this is something that just takes time again for me to make my first YouTube earnings or even make my first, you know, a thousand dollars from a creator code. It took me three years. Now, of course, course, like a lot of that, I didn't have a creator code or a lot of that. I had very little views and, you know, I was stuck on 3k subscribers for so long, averaging like, you know, I don't know, maybe 10,000 views at most per month. Bear in mind, I was uploading daily. I did 160 daily uploads and only after three years did I start making a decent amount of money and it still wasn't enough to drop everything. Sadly, gaming is really hard to earn in, but if you start young, a lot of you guys probably below the age of 16, if not below the age of 18, at least you have a lot of time on your hands. And again, this can snowball. If you're great at the game, that will snowball. You can content create and compete. And if you're not good at the game and you can just have a personality and make good content and you don't even honestly need a personality. I don't. And you guys are watching this. So you could literally do absolutely anything. Informational videos, educational videos, and it will get you some money. Thing is, it's just not easy. That's the truth of it. Um, not everyone's going to be able to make money playing video games. It's a very hard thing to get into. But once you're in it, you have to just be consistent. That's what I've learned. My YouTube channel low-key fell off because I wasn't grinding anymore. And it's it's normal, you know, to take a break, to have a buy now, or even to quit playing Fortnite. You've played the game, you know, maybe every day for months or years. It's going to get tiring. If you take a break, I feel like that, that matters. Maybe just take a two week break every now and then, and you will maximize your income from this if you can start making income. But again, support a creator code, tournament, or other platform monetization. There's no other really legal ways to make money or anything that doesn't break, you know, Epic Games terms of service. But I'm sure that there is stuff. You know, some people sell Fortnite accounts, some people sell other services, some people even sell hacks. I don't recommend it but people do that and you know skin changes and other stuff like that and i think honestly if you're gonna even go with that route monetize on a platform you know make content regarding it maybe don't sell fortnite accounts but make fortnite account content you can do whatever you know like i'm not advising you do it again i'm not advocating for this but you could do whatever you could you know solicit fortnite accounts for example have really cool rare og accounts or have a really cool skin changer really cool whatever it is and make content around that thing you don't have to just promote it and be like yo go and buy this go and 
and buy my service. Go and buy whatever it is you're selling. You could just make funny content around it. And I think that would be admired more than if you are just straight up selling cheats or <laughs> selling an FOV slider or whatever it may be. This video is honestly actually very raw. Just speaking off the top of my head, but from my time doing content creation for however many years it's been now, this is like, it's hard out here. Support K code, very little money. Your best bet really is competing. If you're playing the game a lot, compete. You can make content from competing. Either live stream your tournaments because you may as well if you're playing the game or just record them, upload them to YouTube. They don't have to be very high quality either. Like, don't worry about production. Just create something and trust me, in a year's time from now, you will not have regret it. You will thank me. In fact, come back to this video in a year's time and thank me. You can all do it. You can all make it. And I believe in you guys.